Hi guys, this is not Space Invader 1, but this is your boy Mozzie. Uh, I'm here giving you a little bit of an overview of my JDM Watt inspired, serverbuilds.net inspired uh, home server system systems as of now. And I'm going to give you a little, uh, little chit chat about my network and this monster rack I got for a good deal. It's a HP 36U uh, rack, so we'll open the door. Actually, you can't close it because there's so much cable in there. So we're going to work with that until we can figure out a better solution. Uh, we're actually in the laundry room. Uh, we are in a place where it's a little, little warmer. It's a small room. Working on some kind of exhaust fan setup in there, so... Uh, it's been kind of a journey, about a year long, six months or so, to get to this point. So we'll walk you through some of the basics. We have uh, up top some new additions that have not been um, admitted to the server rack yet. So up top we have the sweet deal on eBay, tech deals tag for a 24 bay hot swap. Super micro, I believe it's that 846 chassis and uh, with cool little drive bays. Uh, so, just got some 2670s in there. Shout out to Chip for that deal, and uh, we'll be hopefully saving up for some drives in the near future. Possibly about the uh, 3 terabyte SAS drives. So, next up, we have actually not another. Uh, Rose wheel there we have a 12 12 bay rose wheel that we're going to eventually put in here originally bought as a das got it for about 40 bucks um, sweet you know Craigslist fine there but actually so yeah that would be an addition to the current 15 bay rose wheel uh, next up you got another big project we got here that we ended up doing a major Networking overhaul of the house, wired CAT6 everywhere. Um, so these are just independent keystones. You see, did mostly a decent job at tagging everything and making sure it's in the right place. Uh, it's actually going all to the attic, which usually you would see all these cables nicely organized if these two big boxes aren't there. Uh, then we got some Unify switches, which we have the 24 port. 250 watt PoE switch and the normal 24 port. Um, so actually, right here should actually be another uh, Keystone Jack set, another 24. Eventually, I was going to do cameras and and different IoT devices and things like that. So we have roughly 23 or 22 uh, ports on all the walls everywhere, and we'll be adding some more. For now, I'm just using the one PoE port for the Ubiquiti access point and servers right there. So, next we got some AT&T modems right there. Then we have a Ubiquiti security gateway, another JDM special. This is pretty much a glorified power strip here. Goes into the UPS, has a nice flimsy um, switch for you know, nuclear launch codes and things like that. So if you do want a review of any of these things, uh, let us know. Uh, and here I have the not safe for your wallet, not safe for your work, any of that good stuff, anniversary build, running dual 2650 V2s, E5 2650V2s. Right now we have about, I believe, 32 terabytes usable, eight terabytes in parity. Really only have this side of it filled with drives. Uh, this one will be the fully eight terabyte uh, unraid setup. So about 64 gigs of RAM, and not much really special else about it. Potentially at some point maybe I might do a 10 gig setup. We don't know. Um, as you can see, I love making nice labels. So made some cool ones for the Rosewell and that's our headlamp popping up um, 
So, cool thing about this rack, uh, I did get a good deal on it. It did come with some goodies, an HP KVM, uh, well it's actually KMM, so this thing kind of, I unplugged it, well, still plugged in. I uh, can't really figure out how to configure it much. Um, up here actually is another, well it's another function of the KVM. It's an HP model. Um, it's not loud, it just makes a weird hum when it's on. Uh, so there's already a bunch of, it's already kind of wired up to this setup where you would be, you know, sitting on your nice, nice little bench here, working and hacking and doing whatever you need to do on your servers. Um, so I haven't figured out uh, how to get this thing configured, but it was actually in pieces when I got it. So I actually put most of the screen back together and uh, the other parts of this setup. Down here we have a UPS, which is the Cyber Power, another tech deal special. We have it, uh, I guess it's a 1325 VA, so that could use a little upgrade at some point. Um, so yeah, there's there's kind of the hobby. There's our uh, future skill building station. Uh, we'll have a lot of storage, um, whatever it may be besides media and personal files. You know, you could this this type of work is really fun because you learn new skills, you build new competencies, uh, whether it's programming, different languages, or even getting you prepared for whatever career path you may have as someone into tech or engineering or science um, sky's the limit so this is kind of the basic setup now you're wondering what is this dangling wire flowing around everywhere um, it's actually passing through this wall and goes to our AT&T ONT uh, you can actually get rid of this modem and run your USG straight to it but behind this thing uh, we're running a phone line yes phone line in this day and age and a connection to the fiber uh, cable so I'll cut and I'll show you just right outside this room in the kitchen where we have the rest of the setup so I'm gonna cut real quick so we're back here this is the ONT going with this nice white cable actually through the wall with a pass through into that server slash laundry room. It's a little dark. I'm going to turn on that crazy headlamp there. So this is literally just a hole. You can just pass through to the laundry room. And, you know, AT&T said we'll charge $150 to move this thing into another room. You know, splicing fiber, merging it, all that good stuff. Uh, it wasn't really worth it to me, so I bought a $5 cable and some pins from Amazon and monoprice and work with it there so I wasn't kidding when I said it's a laundry room right here we have the rest of the rose wheel that I kind of dismantled it's the front end of it it doesn't really uh, do too well with the nav point um, I wouldn't say the rails are just kind of uh, makeshift rail shelves that you can stack your rose wheel on top you just gotta take the front end off Right here we have the other patch panel uh, that we'll eventually put on. Right here are actually these iStar rails that quite cost quite a bit of money, around 40 bucks. These are the original recommendations to set up Rosewell, uh, which I think I'll still use that. Um, I ordered some Chenbro rails that some of you guys were talking about on the site, and we're going to use those for the original Rosewell. This we'll use for the DAS. And we use the uh, nav point for the new hot swap bay server. So up here we have our Ubiquity access point, AC Pro, ceiling mounted, centrally located. You know, before we end this video, I just wanted to give a little shout out and um, give you a little source of where we get all the inspiration from. This is the serverbuilds.net website, and uh, you know, here you can find uh, whatever you need to based on uh, parts and how to set up your build, and 
you can learn about hardware, software, um, and pretty much get everything you need to get your server built up and running. So special thanks to the guys who work really hard to put this community together, you know, to get our really nice Unraid servers going. Um, we have to really uh, get on the Discord, so special shout out to the uh, Letterkenny fan club and all the folks that, uh, you know, we like to talk to all day and all night, so yeah, thanks to uh, Mr. JDM himself, Man Bear, the mods, Eagle, Mods or Chip, uh, you know, thanks to Volt, Ballsy, Danellum, and Duck getting me hooked up on the uh, sonar and stuff uh, so it's very much appreciated um, and as well as our mates down under Mr. Whiskers, Britt with the fans, Motherboard who's always uh, knowing what to do and special shout out to Felix because uh, I bothered him a ton when I first started so here we go uh, check out our dockers you got a ton of good stuff here um, and basic setup for our drives so I hope we can make another video and you guys enjoyed this one